How much do you think it'll cost to rent this house during the 2025 NFL Draft? I'll tell you shortly. I'm your Bellevue neighborhood reporter Carl Winter at the Village Hall, where staff is considering relaxing the regulations on short-term rentals. Taryn Smith is a full-time teacher, full-time mom, and part-time rental host. When we moved here, I started renting out this house too, and really just started so that we could bring in a little extra money. While some villages are doubling down on rental restrictions, Bellevue wants to make it easier. Right now, owners have to get a county health inspection, check their homeowner's insurance, get approval from the village, and get a seller's permit. The village might relax its approval process for that one week in April. This is not a relaxation of the entire rules. It's more so the discussion and the dialogue of whether we, we relax the approval process and make it more efficient and less burdensome. Karen says the process was fairly simple. Once you're cleared on that, you're good to go. So what's she looking to get for rent during the draft? We have ours at 3500 That's kind of my strategy right now. We're a little high, um, but I know people have rented theirs for a little bit lower. But um, the idea is as it gets closer, the demand is going to go up just because there's not very many housing options around here. Karen says her three daughters don't mind cleaning and leaving their house. Hi for Packers game weekends, or in this case, the draft. It's um, something that we're doing as a family so that, you know, they can do extra activities or we can go on a vacation or different things like that, so they understand. The Bellevue Village Board will discuss its short-term rental policy at its meeting here tonight at 6.30. It will also vote on whether to award a contract for the multi-million dollar expansion of this building. In Bellevue, Carl Winter, NBC 26.